What's up guys, it's Josh from Keep It Techie and today I wanted to do a quick video showing you guys the DU command. So as I stated in the intro of the video, I want to talk about the DU command. And basically DU is short for disk usage. And it's a way to estimate file space usage. It's a pretty good command that will help you track the files and directories which are consuming excessive amount of space on your hard disk drive in the Linux OS. And so in this video, I want to go through and show you guys the information on the command and actually how to use it, giving you guys a couple examples. So sit back, relax, and let me walk you through this. So let's get started. Okay, so I have my terminal up and I'll be doing a demonstration on my host machine, which is Orch. And the first thing I want to do is go down and show you guys the man page for the DU command. So let's type in the command is basically man DU. Press enter. And here we go. It says DU estimates file space usage. Uh, so here's the synopsis, uh, DU, the option, and then the file or folder. And then we also have the description, which says summarize uh, disk usage of a set of files recursively for directories. And we have a couple of options here. I won't read them all. Uh, you can go in and read them yourself, uh, but I'll do a demonstration showing you the most used options and just give you guys a couple of examples so I can show you how it actually works. So let's go down and quit this and get into the examples. Okay, so the first way I want to show you guys how to run this command is without any options. And this will just give you an overview of how the command actually works. So if we go du. And then I'm going to specify a folder within my home directory that I already have. And I just want to look at that one folder. So let's press enter on it. As you see, it kind of went fast, but uh, it goes through that folder and I actually tell you the size of every folder within that directory. And this is the first column just to break it out for you. First column is the size. Second column, you know, is the path. So it, it goes as deep as possible within that directory and pull the size of every folder within there. And this is very useful if you're trying to find out, you know, files that are possibly taking up a lot of space on your system. OK, so let's use our option with this. And the main option I use a lot of times with this command is simply the dash H option. So if we go DU and then dash H. And then let's do that same folder again. So Kaden live and press enter. As you can see, it tells you the size of each folder within there. So uh, in human readable format. So when, when it says human readable, it kind of puts it in the, the size that's most human readable. So if it's 1.4 gigs, it's not going to put it in kilobytes because it it normally puts everything in bytes. So that's one of the options you really want to use so you can get a good representation of the size of everything in the folders. And as you can see, it gives you a total at the top level. So Kaden Live right here. And then the size of that directory is 86 gigabytes. And another reason I'm showing you this folder, this is the folder where I do all my videos. And I keep all my video files. So that's why it's so big. And also, as you can see, you won't see any files in 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 the uh, du command unless you specify it. It'll just go down folder levels, so it it won't show you the files at all. You have to use another option in order to view the files within each one of those directories. So, and that's the dash a option. So let's run that command and see what it looks like. So du dash a dash h for human readable and then the Kaden live folder and press enter as you see it, it breaks it all out so you got text files you know you can see all the text files that i have in there pngs that i use um you know the mp4 files so everything is shown and it's shown it's showing you the size of everything and you can look at each folder you know what i'm saying within there and it gives you a total count, I mean, a total size of the folder itself, as well as all the files within it that make up that size. So 
like I said, it's good information that you can find out using this command to get rid of files that are taking up too much on your system. Okay, and so the next option I wanna show you guys, is kind of repetitive uh, and I really don't have a use for it and you might not have a use for it either, but um, it gives you the total size of the directory that you're looking at. So it, it'll basically spit out this same number, uh, but it'll have total next to it. So it'll be the total. And based on my experience, that's only useful if you're looking at multiple directories. Uh, and it will give you a total of both of those directories at the end. So if we use the option dash C, this will give you the total. So if we use that same command we just did, and I'm gonna put dash C in there and press enter on that, it will give you the total. And so that's that's just a way of showing this total. And just to see if it gives me a total of, let's say two different directories, let's try the Caden Live directory and then let's try my documents uh, directory as well. Press enter. And yeah, it looks like it gives you, yeah. So it's the only way this is useful is if you're looking at two different directories. It'll give you a total of both of those directories combined because you will have to scroll up to the Caden Live folder, wherever the top level is for it, uh, way up there, and then add both of those numbers up. So the total will get spit out of both of those directories at the end. And that's what I was, I was thinking. I just wanted to verify. Okay, and so the next way I wanna show you how to run this command is, as you can see in my documents directory, I have layers on top of layers of directories or whatever. And let's say you wanna specify a level of directories you wanna go, like how deep you wanna go within the directories of the, the main directory that you specify, uh, where there is another option to do this, uh, and it's dash D. And so let me give you an example of that. And I'll run it on the Caden Live folder. So let's press the up arrow. I'm gonna back off documents. I'm gonna back off this dash C and I'm gonna put dash D. And then you have to specify a number. So let's say we wanna go one layer deep. And that's the way I look at it. That might not be the right term, but I just look at it like one layer deep in the directory. So, and I'm gonna use that dash H again, just to keep it human readable. And let's press enter there. And as you can see, it only goes down that one layer. So you'll see all of the, the first folders within that folder. So it won't look at any of these folders that are underneath it. So that's a good way of actually doing it. And you can specify, um, you know, even further. So if you, you can put whatever number there, as long as you know that that amount of directories are there. Uh, or layers are there within the directory. So let's press, I'm gonna type two just so we can see, and it'll go two layers deep. And it's not gonna like not exclude anything that doesn't have two layers. You know, it'll still pull everything that only has one layer, but it'll go two layers deep. So that's just a good way of running the command in, in case you don't wanna, you wanna keep the list kind of short by looking at like one layer deep or so. Okay, and the last way I wanna show you guys how to run this command is simply by pulling a summary. And what I mean by summary is it'll simply pull just this size right here. So I'll run that right fast so you guys can see, but it's DU and the option is dash S. So lowercase S. And then we can specify that folder, that Caden Live folder again, uh, and press enter. And that'll give us a summary. And then we can also use this with the dash H option, which I should have did. Uh, so dash H, that'll give us the total amount. So it pretty much gives you the total amount. And and just so you understand, uh, it kind of stores some of this stuff in memory. So as you you know run the command, it's indexed. So it doesn't take as long to run the command again. Like if I ran this on my five terabyte drive, the first time I run it, it's gonna take a while, especially since I have like three terabytes of data on that actual drive. It's gonna take a while to actually do it. And then it'll kind of cache those amounts on the system. So if you run the command again, it only takes a couple seconds. So just understand that, you know, the bigger the size of the drive, the longer it's gonna take because it's gotta go through all those directories. That's why it's, it's kind of good to use that, that total 
or looking at layers deep only a certain layer deep because when you get into looking at a directory that has like 20 layers deep in it it's got to go through each one of those directories and gather the size of it and print it out on the screen so it takes a while so i just wanted you guys to understand that but hope you guys enjoyed the video this is a very important command to learn when getting into linux that way you can understand how to manage your file space uh, usage on your system. So check out the command and look at the man page and see how to actually use it and go through and test it out on your system. Anyway, so like, share, subscribe to the channel, and of course, keep it techy.